Did you know that the U.S. experiences a cyber attack every 39 seconds? And according to the Internet Crime Complaint Center, in 2022, the financial toll from these attacks reached a staggering $10 billion. These digital breaches pose two major threats. They risk exposing sensitive personal information of millions of Americans, and they can disrupt vital services to the nation. We have long been focused on the cyber threat from China. But as you've heard, in recent years, we have seen a deeply concerning evolution in Chinese targeting of U.S. critical infrastructure. In particular, we've seen Chinese cyber actors, including those known as Volt Typhoon, burrowing deep into our critical infrastructure to enable destructive attacks in the event of a major crisis or conflict. FBI Director Christopher Wray called Volt Typhoon the defining threat of our generation. Last month, the FBI said it shut down an attempt by the Chinese hacking group to infiltrate U.S. infrastructure through outdated Internet routers. Cybersecurity is certainly an issue that we need to talk about. And unfortunately, in politics, I have found that we tend to be reactive instead of proactive. Nebraska State Senator Lauren Lippincott says nearly 70 percent of all public sector entities faced ransomware attacks in 2023 and we should be ready. He is spearheading two critical legislative efforts aimed at strengthening Nebraska's cybersecurity framework for the Cornhusker state. The first bill seeks to upgrade the state's cyber defenses with the latest tools and software. The second proposes a bold move to recruit ethical white hat hackers. You want the hackers to try to break into our system and find out where the leaks, where the holes are in the dike. We're looking for vulnerabilities. And the only way we can know where our vulnerabilities are is if we are tested. And it's wise to test before we get attacked. In recent years, cybersecurity breaches exposed the medical records of hundreds of thousands of Nebraskans, leading to multi-million dollar settlements from some of the state's leading healthcare providers. When introducing these bills, Lippincott said simply having security measures isn't enough. He stressed the importance of consistently testing cybersecurity systems. Lippincott says he originally got the idea from his nephew, who worked in the private sector as an ethical hacker. He says, if an organization is responsible for securing sensitive data of any kind, they must think like the enemy and be able to defend themselves from those enemies. Of course, defensive security is definitely important, but organizations also need to have offensive security as well. Lippincott likened it to the military's red team versus blue team drills. The red team pretends to be the enemy. And in the cyberspace, the red team wears white hats.